What's going on everyone? I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my very first CBCS submission. Before we do that though, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all of that. So if you've been following the channel for any period of time, you know that I'm a big, big, big CGC fan. Regardless of the way that I've been treated at some point <laughs> uh, for some of my submissions, but I always have CGC slabs. Now I've had a couple CBCS slabs in the past. Um, I've always done them for uh, like giveaways or something like that. So I don't have any CBCS slabs in the PC. Um, but today we're going to talk about my very first CBCS submission and why I'm going with them. So recently I was able to pick up a pretty big key and uh, I bought it from a friend of mine who used to work at the comic shop here in Manhattan. Um, he got it for a great price and I worked out a deal with him to get this book along with several other books for one single price. I did some payments on it. I finally was able to get this book for Father's Day. Shout out to my wife for being uh, cool with it and getting this for me basically as my Father's Day gift. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show off the book and talk about it a little bit. This is Marvel Spotlight number five, the first appearance of the Ghost Rider. Uh, we also got him on the cover here. Pretty awesome book. Um, when him and I were looking at the book, we looked at it in his apartment. We both agreed it was probably around a six, maybe six, five, seven at the very, very best. Um, I looked at it one time, completely, completely through. Everything attached to both staples. Every page is there. Obviously, the colors pop here. Uh, there is some, you know, there, there are some spine ticks, as you'd imagine. But again, we both agreed it was probably around a 6, 6, 5, maybe 7, 0 at the very best. Uh, so we worked out a deal, and I was able to get it. Uh, so then I brought it home. I was super excited about it. I looked at it, and I noticed a few other things that weren't apparent to me the first time I looked at it. Um, I'm going to try to throw up some photos now. Uh, there was a little bit of stains on the back, um, a couple of them, and uh, I did, I don't know how I didn't notice them before. I did notice one inside cover, um, but everything else, you know, I didn't notice until later. Um, and I was, you know, I grew to be okay with the stains, um, but I also noticed some stuff on the cover that you could not tell under certain lighting, uh, specifically in his apartment, until I got home to where I had good lighting, I bought a black light, I noticed this book may have some color touch. When I say may have, I'm saying I'm pretty sure it does. Now, there is no bleed through, um, but you can tell on the cover. I'm going to try to throw up some photos as well. Um, and so that was a little disheartening. Now, I did reach back out to him, and he said he would make me an offer to make it right. Uh, and that was three days ago, and I messaged him several times since. And since then, he has ghosted me. So, Brandon, uh, I guess... Uh, you've decided that money is more important than friendship, uh, because obviously you have not messaged me back and I've messaged you several times and this is a little frustrating. Uh, cause I probably paid right at, or maybe even like a slight increase above what it would be worth graded. Now, um, and, and that would be like, you know as a universal blue label, which this would not come back a CGC universal blue label. But thankfully, there was a company called CBCS to where when you submit books, regardless of whether or not it is restored, it will come back a beautiful blue label. Now it will notate restored on the uh, label. And uh, I do anticipate this book to come back a restored grade. Um, I'm gonna anticipate um, on the very low end, I'm going to say a 4.5. I'm hoping for a 5.5. Five, sorry, I'm hoping for a 5 or a 5.5. I don't think 6 is in a question. I think 5055 oh, is the max on this book, and I would be okay with that. Um, I mean, there's a chance maybe they don't see some of the color touch that I personally saw. Um, and maybe I'm just seeing things too, because like I said, there's no bleed through from markers or anything. It almost looks like a little bit of paint, possibly. But again, I, I don't know. I, I think this book was probably in the hands of a collector before the grading came out, and they wanted the book to look better than it was looking. And so they had someone possibly restore it, probably in the 80s or 90s, uh, before, again, grading was a thing. 
I'm a little frustrated by the whole ordeal. I'm a little frustrated with the friend that I bought this from, um, obviously. But, you know, it's a still a mega key and it's going to look good in a graded slab. Now, again, I'm going to CBCS because they come back re regardless of whether or not it's, it is restored. It comes back in a beautiful blue label. Now, you're probably asking yourself, uh, Steve, are you going to be sa you know saving this for the PC or not? Um, I don't think so. You know, my gut is telling me that when it comes back, I'll probably be selling it to my friend Legion of Comics or I'm possibly doing a raffle or something else so I can get another book. Because my, my whole ordeal was I was going to get this book in the grade that I thought it was, which again was like a 6, 0, 6, 5, maybe a 7, um, and hopefully get it graded. And it may be possibly double in value with a CGC um, submission. And, uh, you know, obviously that is not going to happen. I'm submitting to CBCS and I obviously think it is a restore grade. And I was going to sell it uh, before when I thought it was a, you know, had a book of no issues. I was going to sell that to get another book that I really, really wanted. Uh, and that was a Brave and the Bold 28 First Appearance of the Justice League. That is the book I'm really after this year. If you know me, you know I'm a big DC fan. So my goal was to get this book, flip it, to try to get something else that I wanted. Um, like I said, I do think I probably paid right at or above what this book is worth if, in a blue label. Now, what I've looked at and what I've seen, uh, shout out to my friend Mar uh, Dave from Mark Spector Comics, is that restored grades typically go for around one third of the uh, CGC Universal labels, the blue, the blue labels. Um, and so, you know, if it comes back a 5.0 and the book is $1,500, you know, one third of that uh, taken off is a thousand bucks. So I, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say what I paid for it. I'm just going to say, I think I may have overpaid just a touch because I did not see any color touch on the book before I purchased it. I guess that's on me. I've never had a book in my collection or a book that I've ever seen have color touch this is a first for me but i guess if you're in the comic book game as long as we all have been uh, at some point you're going to see a book with some color touch and i think i do believe this book does have some color touch but maybe cbcs won't see it maybe i'm seeing things i don't know but I i'm like 90 95 sure this book has some sort of color touch on the cover and a whole bunch of spots now again it could be some stains that are just making it look like it from the inside i don't know uh, but I anticipate a 4.5 restored grade from CBCS. If it comes back a 5.0 or a 5.5, I'd be ecstatic. I'd be super, super, super happy with that. Um, and, you know, maybe if it doesn't come back the grade I want or it does come back restored and, you know, I'm just not willing to take a hit on it regardless of whether it's a couple hundred bucks or, you know, whatever it is, maybe I'll keep it in a PC for a year or two, how many years until there's an announcement and this book goes up even more in value. Maybe that's what I'll do. Um, but I'm leaning right now toward submitting it to C, uh, CBCS, having it come back to me and um, selling it to either Mark or doing a raffle for it. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think I should do. Um, if I do sell, I'll probably use that money to get another book that I've been really, really, really wanting for several years. That is a TMT number one third printing. Um, or I guess I could try to find a Brave and Bold 28 and also another restored grade. Because I think I think I saw one, like a 2.0 or a 2.5 restored grade for right around the price of what this book is going for. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this book. What you guys think I should do, all of that. Again, I'm Steve from Burke Family 54 Comics. Thanks everyone for watching. And as always, go Cats, Kawabunga, and it's morphin' time.